All right, so what I have here is the um, 118 scales Dutch Viper GTS by Maestro. I'm not a big fan of muscle cars, so I think this is the fifth generation. I'm not so sure, so please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so I, like I said, I am not a big fan of muscle cars, so I do not buy or collect muscle cars. So I do not have any Corvette, any Mustang in my collection. But when I saw this car in the store, I mean like, wow, look at that. It's, it's screaming green at me and I mean like, okay, I need to buy this. So I look at the paint, it's like neon green, but it has the, um, uh, it's like gold or yellowish. I don't know what color is this, but yeah, it's, it's like green yellow at the same time. So when you tilt it to the side, and you see that where it's screaming green and it's striking yellow at the same time. Or it's striking green and screaming yellow at the same time, whatever. Is 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 will be. Um, the standard car looks aggressive. It's just tight on the ground. Um, the wheel gap here and here, and they are not. They are not consistent. Let's say, the rear is bigger than the front, so that's all right then. Um, exhaust, exhaust chrome tip. So exhaust is technically right here underneath the door instead of the rear. Um, so that's the. The, the, the design from Dodge. Uh, front of the car, the emblem is painted silver. Um, grill, closed, so plastic. Uh, vents, also closed too. Headlights, so headlights, they do have projectors. Very simple, nothing to, to uh, talk about, nothing fancy at all, so just simple as that. Um, panel gaps, so door gaps okay. Uh, however, the front of it here, you can see the gap is bigger than the rear, but it's fine. Um, the gap right here, the hood, um, is okay. Uh, trunk gap, tight. So very nice. Uh, now, the thing I like about this is the the fuel door, the fuel cap, it's chrome, so looks very um expensive uh, the rear of the car um, nothing nothing much to talk about symbol painted M um, so you can open the trunk however like you see over here the trunk it needs more paint right there that section right there you can see bare metal so um, well that is not too bad uh, trunk Drunk floor, plastic, nothing there, just plastic. Uh, open the door, you can see the cabin here. Black plastic, very dull. Uh, technically, you can't see much. Yeah, like that. Uh, Alright, and also right here, the door panel, it need more paint. Um, right. Now, engine bay. You can see it's very colorful, huh? So you can see Viper right there, and I think it's V12. I think it's it's V12. I'm not so sure, but the engine bay looked decent. A lot of car color like that. You can see silver, red, green, black, yellow. See the cap right there too. Okay. Now let's talk about the wheels. Um, like you see over here, the wheels, front and rear. However, the rotors, they do not roll with the wheel. So like you tilt the car like this and you roll the wheel, just the rear one. The rotor inside, it doesn't roll at all. So it is staged in a fixed one position. Um, underneath the car, typically my stove. But at least they make an effort to show you transmission, to show you the differential, to show you the axle. So you can see that. Very nice. Very nice for $14. I really love the, the color on this car. It's striking green. Okay. Enjoy.